As the Gulf of Mexico region wrestles with the ongoing impacts of the BP deepwater drilling disaster, responding to new oil sightings and wildlife casualties, Congress begins to turn their attention to the use of BP's Clean Water Act fines, with legislation introduced to use this historic windfall to restore the Mississippi River Delta and the Gulf Coast. One outcome of the Restore Act is that long-neglected ecosystems may receive the funding necessary to put them on a path towards sustainability. Impacting over 600,000 acres of coastal ecosystems and destroying over 27,000 acres of cypress swamps and productive marsh. The Mississippi River Gulf Outlet, or Mr. Go, is an ill-advised shipping channel constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in the 50s and 60s. Well, this body of water is log of value. This is a, what they call the Tupelo Cypress Swamp. And this body of water started dying in 65 because of Bessie. And the same canal that caused this to die with saltwater intrusion is the same canal that caused some of the flooding in the city of New Orleans, which is the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet. It's a deep water channel that is essentially a uh, shortcut to New Orleans so that ships didn't have, have to come up the uh, Mississippi River. Yeah, there, there were a few uh, folks, uh, including some folks in St. Bernard, that, that basically were, were saying that this was going to be a major problem. I think even some of the federal agencies question it, but it's one of those things, uh, you know, this was, when this started, it was pre-NEPA and, and pre a lot of the environmental movement. and. There were some, some people who saw what was coming, but it had a lot of institutional momentum, you know, this was development, this was supposed to be good economic development. It was, you know, what was supposed to happen was when they cut this channel, uh, a huge port was supposed to develop in St. Bernard, and of course that never happened. Pointed to by many experts as one of the primary causes of flooding in the wake of Hurricane Katrina, the Mr. Go helped funnel water into the Lower Ninth Ward and St. Bernard Parish earning it the name the Hurricane Highway, and inspiring Congress to officially close the channel to shipping in early 2006. You had surge that was transmitted, you know, of course, at Katrina, there was no gates, nothing on the MRGO, so that surge came all the way into the city, through the MRGO, into the Industrial Canal, and there you had the flood walls that collapsed along the Industrial Canal, and basically that's the deluge that, that, that hit the Ninth Ward, and that surge continued flowing uh, through the Ninth Ward and into St. Bernard. So uh, basically the, uh, the flood waters that came into the Ninth Ward and uh, St. Bernard basically had to pass over or through the MRGO. The Army Corps of Engineers has greatly increased the hurricane protection for the area with the construction of one of the largest storm surge barriers in the world. But despite the construction of two closures along the channel, much more must be done to restore the ecosystem and increase the area's value as natural storm defenses and habitat for a diversity of wildlife species. You know, we don't envision that the canal will ever fill itself back in. If you, if you wanted to fill it in and try to make everything look like it did in the 50s before it was constructed, it would require over 300 million cubic yards of dredge material. That's more dredge material than we used in the construction or reconstruction of levees around New Orleans. Uh, we do envision over time, though, that uh, the area will transition to a more fresh, uh, intermediate and brackish habitat than it is currently. Uh, and the closure structure that we built at Bayou Lutra is contributing to that already. We've seen salinities in the area drop um, by 50% or more in certain wetland areas, and that's all beneficial to uh, recovery of the coast in this area. Uniquely situated close to the Lower Ninth Ward, it has been a goal of the community to reconnect the neighborhood to the ecosystem. It's a lot that I think that we have to band together to start looking at protection for this area. Because without us being, without the proper protection, we stand to lose more than you ever know. Uh, the connection with the, the water and, and the seafood industry and all those things that associate our, uh, our livelihood, if you will, to this area. And something is wrong that we're not bringing it all back together again. I've heard a lot from community members about what it used to be like to live next to by Bienvenue. Um, and so I also understand that the wetlands are more than just a, 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 the first line of defense or even the second line of defense, but that they also 
um, contribute to the culture and um, the community. Restoration of this hard-hit area will not be cheap or quick, but the BP Clean Water Act fines could play a role in ensuring that plans that have been developed for the area are actually realized, and the community benefits from the natural systems decimated by decisions made to benefit the nation's shipping industry. This is what, what's happening now. This has to change. We have to love what's keeping us alive. And I can tell everybody when they come on here and we talk about the wetlands and I tell them what happened here and stuff, we can't live anywhere else. I mean, we shoot our money up in the air to go to space and I don't have nothing against the space project, but we can't live anywhere else yet. So we got to do something about this. And if by chance we get a chance to live somewhere else, I guarantee you, what it takes to live that somewhere else is going to have to come from right here. So we still need this. The Gulf Restoration Network needs your help in the fight to direct BP's Clean Water Act fines to projects such as Mr. Go Ecosystem Restoration. Visit bpdrillingdisaster.org to learn more, take action, and donate to these efforts. The masses are fed up, convinced. Just no hope, no hope, no hope. No hope.